two live. This is two OF Entertainment. And we are here, ladies and gentlemen. There we are. Yes. yes. And, and surprise, more. surprise. I'm this week's fabulous guest. There I'm you sorry, go. what? You're a fabulous yeah. guest this week? Oh, well, this week's that was a quick show. Guest. Well, Mort, I'll see you next Wednesday. And uh... <laughs> Okay, okay. And um, good luck to Pat the Drivelado. That, is that what that stands for? Fat, fabulous guest, Fat Drivelado? No, no, it says on the intro, if you bothered to watch the intro of your own show, Stephen, it says that both you you and Mort are the, are the hosts. Yes. And you have a, a range of fabulous guests. I saw which, that. Of course, I... I'm yeah. not the host. So I must be by uh... default then a fabulous oh, I saw, You're a fabulous guest now. Oh, I get it. Well, next week we're going to have a real fabulous guest because we're going to talk about <laughs> scotch. So that's going to be fun. So yeah, that's well, going to be a fun. No, guest. That, if it's um, you know, it's it's just one of those things. Whiskey a go go, that'll be then, won't it? There you go. David's got That's David. Fine. David's our what? David's our fabulous guest this week by default. But before yeah. we get into like the global topics of the day, which I want to talk about South Africa and North Korea and Trump winning the Iowa caucus and the CEOs are all crazy about that in a bad way. Um, Mort, you did something very cool this last week. Do you want to kind of tell everybody what you did and where your stuff is so they can go see it? Next week, we're actually going to have pictures of it. Yeah, well, uh, I went uh, I went uh, back to um, 1050 uh, uh, around that when the Vikings went down to uh, Constantinople, uh. What, what the town was called then. Uh, now it's called uh, Istanbul. Right, uh, yeah. and and they were down there, uh, and they tried to fight and to uh, to conquer the um, the the large uh, city even then, but uh, they uh, they couldn't. So I went in their footsteps now, and uh, I didn't uh, drive by any any boat, but but. Um, by um, aeroplane, so uh, we, um, I was invited to to this um, uh, gallery uh, mm -hmm. behind me. You see a picture. And, Steven Spielberg's and, uh, there too. Yeah. yeah, it looks like him. Yeah, well, it could be he, him. He, he had his drink. We, we had a VIP opening. This is from the opening. And um, if you're nearby Istanbul. It's open. The gallery is open all week, with with yeah. with the exhibition. But what's the name? Um, uh, Constantinople, the name Stephen. Is... You just explained that. No, that Constantinople yeah, is the yeah. city, and that's it. That's Istanbul. But the, I'm assuming the gallery isn't called oh. Constantinople. So, no. what's the name of the gallery if somebody is, wants to go see your stuff? Yeah, uh, the, the the name of the exhibition in, is is Chaos in Harmony. Okay. I, I like that. Uh, it, it's a good topic. Yeah. And um, yeah. Uh, uh, the uh, yeah, the the art gallery is uh, Luna Grande Art. Ooh. Istanbul. Luna, Grande. Luna Grande Art in Istanbul. So people will be able to yeah. Google that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, we used to, at school we used to have a, a, a you know spelling test regularly, and they used to say. Things like you know Constantinople. Can you spell it? Yeah, and I said yeah, yeah. Simple it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I did. What's an H? What's an H thing, Stephen? <laughs> can't, can't, can't. Come on, I got pick it. Up the I here. just pick up I'm the pace just, here. I got it. I got it. <laughs> uh, but, but I, but old old people. I have this, old people. I, I have to shoot it. It was very fun. Uh, a lot of good uh, uh, artists uh, down here, but 
I don't know, but uh, I I went with uh, 25 um, artworks, so uh, most of the others had uh, three or four or whatever. So I had the first floor for myself. Very nice. And, uh, and, and a lot of red dots it. next to your work? A lot of people buying it, like big Steven Spielberg? He's buying your stuff? I hope so. Uh, okay. it, it was, uh, you know, the, the, the gallery... Uh, uh, attendants uh, who uh, picked that up. I, I had champagne, you know, so. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I, I, mean, I, was, it's, it's, I mean, like, if you're not going to have champagne, more. why do you go? I mean, that's the only reason I go to galleries is for the champagne. Yeah, I mean, if, some, if somebody gave me a floor, I'd be drinking champagne as well. Sure. Well, yeah, I go yeah. for the champagne and the hot Asian chicks. Those are the only reasons I go to a gallery. The hot, well, figure. actually, technically, that well, I suppose technically... Yeah, Istanbul is in Asia. Yeah, technically. Is, yeah. is, is Euro Asia? Only just. Only yeah, just. But, but, like, but like when it was Constantinople, because it was a longer spelling, it was more Asia. Yeah. And now that it's Istanbul, yeah. it's less <laughs> Asia. So, yeah. And, and, and the Viking call it Miklagad. To who? Miklagad. Yeah. Miklagad. Yeah. It's Miklagad. like a beer over here. Michelob. Yeah, we call it Michelob. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Michelob. Michelob. Right. I mean, that's like Michelob. But, that's like making love at a canoe, isn't it, Michelob? There you go. But but yeah. but we should should have a um, um, a whole uh, sending about um, the city. Wow, what a big city! Yeah, uh, yeah huge, enormous. Uh, I think it's um, well. They told me down there officially it's eleven million uh, wow. people living there, but uh, it's more to fifteen or sixteen millions. I. I I don't okay. know. That's Did you count them? Thing. Is that why you you know? Yep, yep. Um. Uh, well, I stopped uh, at uh, fifteen million two hundred and sixty-one. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I got tired of counting. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I it's I a very cosmopolitan city, yeah, the Istanbul. Yeah. I mean, and uh, and some of those Turkish ladies. I mean, they're really, really pretty. So, uh, yeah. tell yeah. me more. No. Um, and no, no, no one is wearing anything, so so you can see no. how it's the girls as well. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do a live show from Istanbul, everybody. There you go. Well, next yeah. next week, I think what we should end up doing is we'll get some of Mort's art and we will put it in, and we can talk about it and show it, and I think that people would enjoy that while we're drinking scotch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd yeah, be kind of yeah. cool. I think. I mean, that'd be kind of fun. I like that. Yeah. yeah, very yeah. cool. Well, I think I think you have to sort of rephrase that actually, Stephen. I think it's I think it's by while well, you are drinking scotch. I listen, because, listen. Uh, I am trying to include. I am trying to include everybody here. As I say, yeah. we will be drinking scotch because uh, Scott, who will come on, will be drinking scotch. Morton, yes, will have he his will glass because he's, he's he's he'll in have the his US glass of wine like usual, right? And, yeah. and you will yeah. have your tea because you're British. That's what you do. And you lift your little pinky. And then the rest I of do. our fans globally can drink scotch or whatever they would like. There you go. Cup of tea here. And they can drink whatever they would like. You could put scotch yeah. in your tea. Make a hot toddy. Uh, well, yeah. No, right. there, there, there. I'm just trying to help out. Uh, All right. What? Now, are we, if we're done, are we, we going to get into the real stuff? Yeah. Or, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Go, go. Well, go okay. Get into the I'll real, real stuff. We go to this stuff. The real, let's discuss a few things. I read this article the other day that South Africa is condemning Israel for war crimes against Hamas. They're like they're going to have an international tribune and they're going after no, it. And on LinkedIn, they've done it already. On, they've been they've been here and done it. No, yeah, yeah, no, no, they're doing. It. I know, but my point is, is like, who the fuck are you to do that? This is, you know what I mean? Like, Israel is defending them. i like, who the fuck are you, South Africa? And then I was reading comments on people on LinkedIn, and they were cheering this. And I, I literally wanted to write, you fucking morons. And I said, no, I'll be polite, because that would have sparked a whole bunch of stuff. But I was just like, how stupid are you? It's a war. Well, this is what happens. I don't see anybody having an international tribune against Russia for killing, you know, civilians in the Ukraine. Because why? Because they're not Jews. Is this is this what's going on now? I mean, it's well, I'll tell ridiculous. you what. There were quite there were quite a lot of Jews actually on the news here with yeah. the Palestinians protesting outside of the the international court and saying that yeah they were all against the war and um, well we're you know, all against the war. Just, 
aren't, I mean, like nobody says, oh, good, let's go have a war. I mean, I like war because I own, you know, defense stocks and so I make money. So war is good. But I mean, most people yeah. are like, war is a terrible thing, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, who wants to go to war? I, I, seriously. Like, you wake up one morning, well, I mean, unless you're an idiot. Then you're like, yeah, I'm going to go to war. But if you're a normal I mean, person, just, you'll wake up that day and go, let's go to circus, war. It's just a circus, isn't it? It's just a circus. Yeah. And I think, to be honest, I think a whole lot of South Africans just wanted to go out on a jolly. So they thought, well, where can we go? Oh, we'll go off to Holland on a jolly. Because, you know, the other jollies they go off on is to Moscow, which is probably... Slightly colder right. and less cosmopolitan. So they have what we're going to have. We'll spend we'll spend a week in the Hague, and yeah. um, we'll we'll say you know Israel are naughty people. Slap them on the wrist. Uh, the Israelis then all have to have to be there as well, of course, to say, well, you know, who are you to tell us all about civil do. rights? Right. Um, and yeah, and that's it. it. Goes on the TV. Everybody talks about it. Gets mm -hmm. upset about it. And um, we move I'm on. Not that, I'm not that I'm upset. I think I'm just, I'm, I'm so shocked at global ignorance that it's kind of like, and now listen, South Africa, you shouldn't really talk because you suck Russia's cock on a daily basis and because they are always there doing an oil deal or this deal or that deal. <clears throat> so when South Africa says we're going to condemn Israel, I'm like, yeah, you know, go play my favorite game because that's all bullshit. Like, you know, you're not condemning anything. You're just sucking your daddy's cock. So I have a real problem with that. And and that's <laughs> and this is the whole issue. It's like, let's just be honest. You know, Israel didn't start it. They just got attacked and trying to finish it. Russia's been fighting now in the Ukraine for a few years, and apparently nobody gives a shit anymore, except the Ukrainian people. So I just find it interesting that that's what they're going after is like this little skirmish that started in October that they're like, it's you genocide, it's a crimes against humanity. I'm like, yeah, what about fucking Russia attacking South um, South Africa? They should attack. But what about them attacking um, the Ukraine? That's not a crime against humanity? You know, killing people, drone strike? Apparently that's okay. So that's where I had it. Yes, more. Uh, well, and, and yeah. St and St Stephen, it's a, it's a lot more wars going on. Oh, but, I know. But people, the, the, people don't know uh, because... Um, uh, the TV, the the radios, the newspapers, they don't kind of um, set it on the map. So the, the, there's a lot of killing and wars going on all over the world all the time. Right. Um, smaller and, and, and larger. Um, I just heard now recently when, when I was down in Constantinople that... Um, uh the chinese are killing uh, a lot of people from um from the old 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 turkey you know um and 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 there's a big uh, you know mass uh, they they j just like the use you know they they want to get rid of all the all the um, because they they had this connection with china and and and, and the east you know and yeah. Yeah, yeah, at Ad, Ad cleansing. So yeah. it's um, it, it it's a lot of things going on at, at the same time. But I don't think anything is white or black. No, no, I agree with that a thousand percent. I think we are living in such a a cocktail world right now that there is no more white black. There's no more line. When people go, you know, don't cross the line. I think the line gets crossed every second of every day now that people don't know what to do. And it's, there's so much propaganda. And because of people not reading yep. and people not knowing history, it's just boom. And we're going to, and we can go into that. But the other thing I was fascinated about this week is North Korea said that they don't any longer want to unify with South Korea. And there's this beautiful yep. monument they have in North Korea, the unification monument and um, missile boy is going to tear that down now he said because there is going to be no unification so now the experts are worried about are they going to use a limited nuclear strike against south korea and i think and i could be wrong because i'm i'm not uh you know a general anywhere as far as i know um is that you have russia on one front you have china looking at taiwan and have missile boy for south korea this is the perfect early 1930s for world war two if you will, you know what I mean? So, I mean, we're yeah, literally yeah. on the cusp of World War III, and I'm like, okay, yeah, let's I, just see I, who becomes president. <laughs> I thought I'd get in, I thought I'd get in early with hashtag World War III. So, you know, I know you did. You told us about that the other day. Yeah. 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 So, 
Well, yeah, not only that, of course, you've also got the Iranians doing naughty things. I mean, they attacked yeah. the Pakistanis yesterday. They threw a drone, you know, threw a drone over the border. And the Pakistanis, yeah, yeah you know, there's been lots of incursions, lots of bits and pieces. And I think I, I think Iran is coming up to a stage where maybe the Hayatollah is, uh, will, will, will die and there'll be a new one. And yeah. I think they're Less kind radical. of gearing up. No, it'll be the same. Yeah, I right. think yeah. the, the general sense of opinion is that, you know, this is a you know have to have a good war is to is to focus the people on on Iran and not to focus the people on the current state of things in Iran, you know, gotcha. like uh, because there this may there may be this 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 power this power change coming. So right. yeah, so you've got that happening as well, and of course the Houthis. I mean, they're having they're having a great time, isn't it? I mean, they've never had so much promo as they've got now in the red sea right um yeah well, well what yeah. we'll do i'll tell you what we'll go we'll go and bomb the crap out of a few things and then they'll stop yeah right yeah. what sort of naivety is that you know That's they're true. just uh, and and they're linking it to the to the israeli uh gaza thing which i think is complete bullshit yeah i think it's i think they've got their, i think they're running their own agenda um, yeah, so lots of stuff happening. So yeah, hashtag World War Three. Get on there early, guys, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all I can say. Buying brown shirts. Go ahead, Morton. Yeah, yeah I, I, get you, well, I, I, they're, they're sold out. It's brown shirts. I, I told you last week. Can't get one on Amazon to save your life. So okay. we're all gone in Europe. Yeah. yeah, all brown shirts, and in Italy in particular, they love their brown oh, shirts. God. They're all sold out. I know. I know. So, I, I don't like the color of. Uh, yeah, but uh, I, I love colors. Sorry. Um, the thing is, I um, I have to wait on Schiphol. I, I, I never. I, I yeah, Schiphol. <laughs> yeah, Skip, shit, Schiphol. Shithole. Yeah, uh, Schiphol. It's much more right. easy. Yeah. Um, uh, last night for three hours. Yeah, because oh, of. Uh, so that means that you. Have to paid snow. at least 160 euros for three coffees, at least. No, no, they didn't give anything at all. Oh, you were just on a layover. Yeah. You didn't get. To, you didn't come off the yeah. plane. You just waited on the plane. No, we we waited. Um, we, we we waited at, 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 at in, in in transit. Yeah, but they didn't. Uh, but but that's another thing. But I met an old. Um, um, you know, when when I was in politics, I I, I met this guy uh, who has been talking with before. Us. We we are not friends, but we are uh, acquaintance. You know, so and and he told me he, he's um, he's a professor in in politics, and in, he has just been down in uh, what country in in, in Brussels, of course. Uh, he's been down there, and they had been uh, talking about war war as nice. how would war be in in the future and i like that topic we we discussed a lot um he, oh you they, must be he, real he, fun he, at dinner parties then let's talk about yeah. war I like yeah it. Let's, let's, talk talk about, let's talk war, about war let's talk about friend. war of the future what's war of the future look like Yes, but 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 uh, you know they they are they are talking about it. They had a conference uh, regarding this now, and I think it's what the third or fourth conference. So it, it's a series of conferences, and they were very surprised that um, they were using guns and 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 stuff um, because the they think. Some of them, at least, think that the war in the future will be embargoes and and um, you know. Oh, well, trade embargo, totally, like what China, what China yeah, does, what what China does with yes. people, what it did in Australia, what it's trying to do in France yeah. now. It does it does trade embargoes with people and tries to cut them off from yeah, what they where's, want. Where's that going to yeah. work? Where's that going to work? Yeah, I mean, well, well um, Zelensky said all that money that's frozen that you guys froze for the Russians. Give that right. to me because you say you don't have any money. So give that all to me, um, and I can use it to rebuild U Ukraine. Right. And that, that that that's a that's a you know a complete. Uh, but here, but here's where I have a problem with that though. If I'm an oligarch, or I'm a Russian billionaire, 
whether I made my money illegally or not. And the U.S. government and governments around the world are freezing my money. Why? I didn't start the war. It's not, you can't freeze money. Now, if you're freezing no, but the it's, government it's, of it, Russia's money. It's a bit like, you know, bit, it's a bit like that. terrorizing your brother because they can't get to you. And that, that's what it is. Yeah, I know. But the problem, and, and I think what the government's thought is someone would kill Putin if they did that. So I just have a problem with that in general that, you know, like where they're, they're seizing yachts of these guys and, and they're seizing their apartments. That's fine. But what are you going to do with it? Like, you mean, like, so to your point, so it's almost like that. That that's the point, isn't it? We're, we're all this frozen money. What, I mean, that sets the precedent that, that nobody wants. Right. But mean, that, and, and going, precedent, back, right. going back to going back to the to the Houthis as well. They don't have any money. They don't. They don't care about dollars. They don't have right. any money as such. So what are you going to do? Free something that they don't have? Right. Yeah, or, but that's you know, like, there, there's a lot of countries. That you, you you know you can do em embargoes on on everything and even shut down the delivery on um, on on food. Right. There's a lot of lot of countries that yeah. import. Well, I think, I think uh, the Saudis, I think the Saudis tried that for the last eight years in the Middle East. You know, trying yeah. trying to uh, trying yeah, but, to but, 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 get but the Yemen sorted out. It hasn't worked so. In, in, in larger formats that, that we were talking about, you know, and, and that's one yeah. thing. Also, another thing is um, the war on internet. You know, the country I visited now, I couldn't get, uh, I, I couldn't read all the things I wanted from Norway because, or, or from UK yeah. or from other places, you, mm -hmm. you know, so the, there are firewalls. Um, that, that's really a part of a uh, war so they were thinking that the guys sitting down in 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 in, in brussels or where wherever they were um that in the future we will not use um armed forces in in a war we would right. uh, simply use an also interesting ai well, that's why I think that because AI can be good propaganda. You know, what I mean, yeah, like, don't, AI can take don't everything. You, don't you yeah. honestly think, right? If you look at at at, uh, at tribes of chimpanzees that are uh, that are that, that are, are contesting a piece of ter territory, they literally grab any any rock or or stick that they can, and they club the crap out of the out of their opposing right. tribe, and when it comes down to it, when we have the solar flare, when everything goes tits up, there's no electricity or whatever, we'll be out there again with clubs and sticks. Yeah. And, uh, so I, I don't see war being any different than hitting somebody harder before they hit you. I I, I told him uh, all, almost the same thing because I said okay. if, 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 if you were at a party or, or at a pub or whatever, and uh, you had uh, you had a fight over a girl, for example, two two guys or even more. Uh, it's it's kind of in, in our DNA that we will kick some ass to if, right. if someone is trying to, you know. So it's it, it's in there. But then he said it's also in there with peace. Um, when 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 we lived in in um, uh, in in um, you know. The Stone Age and before, you had you had this one. You know, um, when when the new tribe w that you didn't see for a couple of hundred years uh, because you didn't travel that far uh, came 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 across and, and came to you, you used this li like in American uh, old uh, w w Western movie, peace. Uh, right. th th this yeah. is peace. I don't, yeah, but, I, don't know yeah. if I, I don't know if I buy that because in the book called The World, it takes you from the very earliest part of civilization to now, <laughs> and literally, there's always a, a war, a battle, a this, a that. Like I don't think in our DNA, unfortunately, we are a peaceful, loving race. People. Oh hell no! no. Wait, I think we are wait. literally. It's like that's why we like football, and I'm talking U.S. football. Why? It's a yes. land acquisition game. Twenty-two guys okay. beat the shit okay. out of each other. For what? Ten yards, or if you will, three and a half meters at a time, to do what? To score. 
Rugby, the same thing. Australian football, I love because they're just crazy. But I'm just saying, in yeah. general, I don't think our mindset as a population, everybody wants more, 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 more. And then you get other people that are like, I want everyone to be happy. But I don't think it's we're we're ever going to be that. I think we're literally going to destroy ourselves. I mean, and, and I think this is the year. Thank God, because I you know, we got I have stuff I need to get done. Um, but I'm just saying, it's like I don't see we're going forward. We're going to have a peaceful anything. I get the worst everybody done now. I, but but think about it. Everybody now is saying, "Look at me! I've got a nuclear weapon. I've got this. Like, now we have drones. It's like I don't like you. I'm going to attack." It's like instead of people just saying, "Listen." Who the fuck cares? Stay within your little world. Shut the fuck up. And just everyone just get along. No, it's like, let's go to war. Let's go fight. This guy said that. This would be enough. And so when it finally does happen, where somebody hits the button and the UFOs don't save us, then you have, we have as a society, a billion people, I know some are innocent, have no one to blame but themselves. And there's nothing we're going to do about it. I mean, you know. Yeah. But but there, there was one thing, and I will end this, uh, this sure. professor. Uh, uh, w one thing I was thinking about on, on the plane back home with a lot of, uh, ooh, ooh, you know, right. um, and that was, um, he told me. Like he asked, he, he, talking about. Yeah, yeah. I is turbulence, yeah. Uh, he, he asked me, who is the God? Who, who, who is God now? Right, right. Uh, well, I said that could be. It depends on on which uh, religion you're you're right. into. You kind of no, no, no. He said it's uh, the god now is money. Yep. And uh, especially American dollars. Yes. Uh, but 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 money money is the god, and everybody wants money before everyone. Want, uh, uh, not too many years ago, everybody was talking about, oh, I wish peace. That that that's all I wish. Now everybody say, I I no, I could give a damn about peace. I want money. I don't think anybody really ever wished peace. I think they all want money. I think it's it's that's yeah. just a thing. Everybody wants yeah. more, and yeah. and it's like I, we said on a couple of the different shows, and even this one. You know, you can only have so many cars, so many jets, yeah. so many watches, so many homes. Like, it's nice that I have 17 cars. But really, on Monday, unless I'm going to drive 17 cars, if I get into a car and go for a ride right now, I'm driving one car. So unless I have 16 yeah. friends that are going to get in cars and drive behind me, I only have one car. And like, I only, and I can only wear, I mean, I can wear, I'm sure, a watch on, on both wrists, but I can only wear one watch at a time. So it's this more thing. And like, if I'm going to live in a yeah. house, I may live in this house for six months and I may go to another house that I have for another six or another three. That's kind of fine, but it gets to a point where people are just buying stuff to have stuff and they don't even use it or visit yeah. it or see it. So it's just a gadgets. gluttony because they, right, because they see it on TV and they're like, oh, I want that lifestyle or I want yeah. this. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and really it's getting to the point where we talk about AI like we said before, I literally really want AI just to take over everything and make everybody every and give us the Shangri-La slash utopia that everybody is yeah. hoping that we should have. And then call it a day. And it won't matter mm -hmm. if you have fifty dollars in the bank or fifty trillion, because AI will then provide mm -hmm. your food, your clothing, your car, housing, law enforcement, whatever. It'll make sure you live in this utopia where everything is beautiful. I'm like, I'm okay with that. I'm like, you know what I mean? It's like, that, you know, I don't care. And I, and I, I found something today, which is, uh, I should, I think, what uh, has already made ah! a lot of people, already made a lot of people happy. Yeah. And it would appear it's going to make a lot more people happy, judging by all the hoo ha there is over. Uh -huh. it. Um, so we'll just get this up. Wow, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, that's why he wants us to get it up. Oh my God, the legless sex style. Yeah, I saw this in our feed today. Oh uh, my God, here we go. It's a legless sex style, and why do we have that? Because that's David's uh, new day. So, so here we go. Uh, yeah. 
what is leave that, this leave, world leave that one to, to you steve so because you're, you're pretty good at reading fans rush to so. praise the new model despite her lack of legs yes you mm -hmm. too can bang an 83 centimeter model that is a, a legless hot chick and you can do things to her that you can't do to a farm animal in 40 countries that is just spectacular kudos yeah. to the people who developed this I and hope do you know we, why I, they do you know why they made it? Because they say midgets, it's been created because it's oh, I'm sorry. because it's easier to hide. It would really? appear Without that legs. some of their yeah, some of their clients have had difficulty. They're suffering from from you know embarrassment in social exile because they live in such small areas. Yeah. Um so the company yeah. has been slated uh, stated that their buyers have complained that it's not convenient to store such a big sex doll which is the normal size one 160 yep, 160 um, centimeters yeah, tall. When, yeah when you're living with your parents or in a room that's not big enough where there's no storage space uh, and also people are embarrassed by the fact um you know they have to put the sex doll somewhere so they decided to make this uh very successfully sold lady called elsa babe without the legs and the yes. um yeah and, and so for the American go. viewers, if I may, David, 160 centimeters is basically five five feet or a little, a meter and a half, if you will. So it's just so you yeah. get that. Well, so look, 160 look, centimeters look. is that. And then 83 centimeters is basically a meter. So three feet. Yeah. So if you got caught with her, you could just yeah. like put her in the rubbish bin, couldn't you? Nobody would see it. Put the lid on, that would be it. But I have so a question it. about this, about these sex dolls. And I've never used a sex doll. I like the real thing. Um, when you're done doing whatever you're going to do to this nice young lady here, um, Miss Babe, um, what, 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 do you, what do you do? You throw her in the shower? How do you hose her down? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like. Oh, well, I think that. Well, I think that that's something we should ask our potential law. If any of our viewers have experience, doll, let us know. <laughs> has experience in in, uh, in in dealing with the aftermath of pleasure with okay. these uh, silicon babes, um, yeah. So where 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 do you go from there? So I, you know, I, 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 that's, that's wild. Yeah. I, is it a case of hosing it down? Is it a case of running off to the supermarket to get, you know, you know, a whole uh, trolley trolley full of kitchen roll? I mean, who knows? You know, what can I say? But what about a good old fashioned Velcro and she can have nine meter long legs? Because Ooh, then you you, you you know you, you can just um, have a Velcro on, on on the back when you're not. Uh, using this uh, ugly thing, but uh, it, it, it's a marketing uh, thing because yeah. the the mother will oh. find this in in the children. In, in yeah, the I don't think this is. For, I'm hoping. That, I'm hoping this is not for kids, more. I'm, I'm assuming this is for like young yeah, adults know in their mom's either. basement. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea. Well, is. you know, it's it's for whoever whoever has the money to buy it. I would imagine she's she's not cheap, but um, yeah. What well, can I, I? Yeah, I just thought we, that the headline that I read, of course, was fans rushed to praise the new model despite the lack of legs. So yeah. I wondered. I was curious just to see what it was about, and of course, it turned out to be this uh, this delicious young thing. So there you well, go. But but, you but but you can also He's... remove the head, for example. It would be even smaller. Well, be even yeah, smaller. But, yeah. Yeah, but I mean I mean I think I think <laughs> uh, I think head versions are or of, of some form of sexual comfort are already available. I have a, I have a question though. Is this like almost like necrophilia? Because it's it's an inanimate yeah. object, right? Is it like necrophilia? Yeah, but it's like, not is dead, the, though, is it? Well, it's technically, dead. it's not alive. Yeah, but it's not. It wasn't alive to be dead, which then classifies yeah. it as being necrophilia. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. It wasn't okay. alive to be dead. To be dead. Well, it's it's yeah. like it's like a lot of wives, David. They're not really alive either. So I mean, I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah, so, I you mean, know, and, and there thing, are so. there are a lot of there are a lot of men uh -huh. who have a great deal of comfort with this. I'm sure. You know, and and if I that's don't, I don't understand this. I don't I don't get this. I I mean I understand it. And if I was an adult 
toy manufacturer. It's a huge industry. It's absolutely oh, huge, huge industry. But I don't understand so, why somebody would want to bang a piece of silicone instead of just going getting the real thing. Well, maybe you know, because they lack they lack the social skills, or you know, or, that's what hookers are for. Whatever, yeah. Or, hookers or, don't care or, if you lack, have social skills. <laughs> like, like, like the cash to do it. You know, well, I mean, and that's they care about. Yes. So, yeah. I mean, and, 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 you know, it's uh, there are people who have them around the house. They have dinner with them. They do all sorts of, you know, it, it's no it, collecting sex, sex dolls. Yeah, people collect them like they collect uh, teddy bears. Yeah, well, I, know what you're a, I think it's called, I think it's called the Sex Doll Forum. I read this morning. So, want to know more about that? Oh, Get on there yeah. and um, well, and and yeah. uh, enjoy yourself. Yes, Martin. I'm, you know, I'm not yeah, advocating we'll, that anybody should do it or not do it. I was just, you know, yeah. I was just fascinated by uh, by the story, and I thought, you know, sometimes we get a bit too I mean, you serious on this. Three, but sometimes we get you know, one for home, one for, one for no. home, one for the office, and one for the glove compartment. As they say. There you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, okay. I, I will not. I will not throw the the first stone. I never used this kind of thing, of course, and I right. will never use it. But, but uh, I, I I think it shows the it shows how crazy the world is is gone really and yeah. and also well also the, yeah, but the, the, what the, can i yeah. ask then what's crazy that these people make them or there is a demand to have them made As well i think i think a lot of the the production in china in 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 these goes yeah. to stake parties and it's mm. going to be destroyed in in the end of the because the, the state parties i've been into everyone gets one of these these are expensive little ditties you're talking about you're talking uh, about the inflatable friends i think friends yeah inflatable. whatever if it's in yeah, if, is, it, if it's filled i mean that's like you know that's like c what quality, kind of state this party stuff's a get? quality well, he's yeah, know, but it, it's a Viking, but, but it, it's all right when pillage, yeah, mate. Yeah. It, 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 sh it should have, uh, you know, a real new uh, thing would be a lot of lead lights and, and, and you know, like woo 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 because that, that makes you uh, even more crazy. Yeah. Well, I, I, oh, I, know, I, I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I know. I know. There's a, there's a, there's some serious people working on AI to put boy synthesizers in them. You know, so you have. I'm waiting for one that walks around like a normal human, and you can't tell them apart, like in Blade Runner. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, there you Make go. Your own. Well, you know, Blade Runner. Who put um? That's uh, we won't some, get that far. Some people... We know technology after the World War Three. Oh yeah, after how, World how War that, Three. Yeah. World War Three. Hashtag World how, War Three, Steve. There'll be no nothing after that, mate. It's all sticks how and many, stones. How many pe how many people in the world are collecting stamps right now? You know, uh, the, 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 I don't think so, huh? Yeah. How, how many how many stamps are there in 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 uh, you know in nobody use stamps anymore, do they? No. Yeah, no, because well, well, you, you know, everything's paid online. No one, I mean, you don't put anything in the post. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but we have a we can buy a digital stamp here. That's right? so you, you just you buy Ooh, it gives you a series wow. of nine numbers, letters and numbers, <laughs> and you f you fill that in onto the envelope where the stamp. Was yeah, 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 yeah. We have okay. a stamp. Yeah, and, and that's it. We don't have that here. That's too. That's too. Yeah, that's too advanced for us in America. We can't. We yeah, have I was to say. Have, I mean, that's. I mean, really. I mean. Yeah, we still have to. We yeah. have to still lick it. We still have to lick it. We like licking things here. I say that look, to every look, every cute little waitress I meet. We like licking things. Look, look to it. Europe. Look to Europe, America. Yeah. Sure, because that's yeah. where the brown shirts are. We got to look somewhere. So yeah. You know. <laughs> the brown sh shirts. They run away to Southern America. They are, they are there. South America. Yeah, they're here. Yeah. They're waiting. Well, they're they're coming got, back. They're, they're all gone back to Italy now and Germany and Poland yeah. and Hungary. Yeah. And no, I mean, good, the nice, thing about, I I the the nice thing about brown brown shirts is that they, they, they make an orange face look really good, you know? Oh, so my God. Yeah. Uh, talking, talking about the orange face very quickly. Trump very won the Iowa the caucus. Trump, Trump won the Iowa caucus this week. Literally in thirty in thirty seconds, like they predicted the winner two minutes out. 
The next day, The Economist came out with an article that said CEOs of the big companies in America are very worried that if Trump becomes president, what's going to happen now to American business, to American trade, um, to Nothing. war? Like they, that this time, like they said, fool me once was okay, but now they're all like, I don't know if we want you for a second term. And the problem is there's no contender. I don't think Biden you, is going to be able to be a contender. You don't stand a hope in hell because by all accounts, everything we've been seeing here, certainly in Holland, is yeah. that Mr. Trump is a gift to America from God. And oh so you God. should all be grateful. A lot of his Who supporters that? think that well, a lot of his uh, Trump supporters oh, yeah. say that he's actually a gift. And a the fact gift, that he, right? yeah, and the fact that he has all these trials and tribulations makes him imperfect. And that's yeah. why you have to accept these imp the fact these imperfections because he is a gift from God. And so let me ask you this when, many, when you try to when you try to overthrow the government. Your own government is that a gift from God? Yes, because the government, <laughs> need, the government needed to be overthrown because really? it's it's run it's run by blood drinking, children Jews. slaughtering, Jews. pedophiles. Really, all all of which, all yeah. of which, along with Hillary Clinton, when? who has a pseudo masochistic uh, brothel under a pizzeria, I is know that. what's is what's happening. In wow. the U.S. at the moment. I'm glad I brought this subject up. I look what I've learned. I mean, I heard the rumors, but I was never invited yeah. to the party, so I didn't know. Well, I suggest uh, to everybody that um, when they're not you, watching, of course, the you, 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 entertainment you, channel, you, I supply, suggest everybody listen to a series on BBC Sounds called The Gathering Storm. And that's about the, the how okay. how Kunon came about and um, why all this stuff is now seems to be right. embedded in the American psyche. Interesting we're stuff. fucking morons. That's why it's embedded in the American psyche. We're, Steven, dumb, we're dumber Steve. than a buck of fucking well, yeah. rocks here. I mean, I mean, I know that. You know that. But BBC, I mean, it'll be a short show on the BBC. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, Americans are a bunch of fucking morons. That's the reason why they've got their problems. End of show. I like it. What's what's yeah. part two? <laughs> uh, 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 no. Morton, you were a politician. But, what do you think about all this? Uh, I don't know what to say because uh, what we need is and what we should be uh, going for is order. Yes. I can't say anything more because um, without order, what what do we have then? We have um, uh, everything is okay and nothing is uh, okay. Yeah. You have chaos. Uh, from we, war. Totally chaos. And in yeah. in the chaos, uh, everyone, even a guy like Trump, can get power. Right. But if we had order, like 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 we used to have, yeah, then. You couldn't have a a guy coming up saying, "I want to be, I am already the president of the United States of America." So we need order, and it has to begin from the kindergarten to the school. They have to read, they have to learn, they have to respect, they have to have empathy, sympathy. Yep. Uh, if not. Uh, we have a mayhem, uh, and we do have. Yeah, it, not just in America, but we have a global mayhem because there is no more yeah. order. There is no global. more. I say to people, I'm an old school guy. Like, you shake my hand, that's our deal. Like, the lawyers can lawyer up. I don't really care. Like, your word is your bond. And David knows this because we've known each other for a while now, right? So it's, it's A, it's B, it's that's what it is. Yeah. But nowadays, yeah. it's not like that. People say they do. They all want to get ahead. And I'm like, you know, if we all work together, we all get ahead together. So it goes back to what we said earlier. It's just everybody wants that. They want more than the next. And I'm like, but that doesn't work. And it's showing we have 8 billion people on the planet. And to your point, we don't have any order. We have make-believe laws, make-believe politicians, and now make-believe governments that are controlled by whoever. And nobody seems to actually care. And, it, and, the, but, and people go blindly along. But what if you find nirvana and you want more? Is it and, and nir nirvana two, nirvana two, right. nirvana three? Three, yeah. 
So that's what I'm saying. Uh, as, well, a, as, a, as a race, though, we will never be happy. So if I said tomorrow we can make Shangri-La, where everybody's got the house they want, the car, or cars they want, the this they want, yeah. money's never a problem. To your point, someone's going to be like, but you know, I want two houses, not one, and I want a house. So you're right. No one will be satisfied, and that's what the problem is. It's like we're not – it's okay not to be yeah. satisfied in business, and you want to keep being successful and yeah, yeah, excuse yeah, me, yeah, growing. Yeah, yeah. But in general – but then they don't turn around and do anything with it. It's like, we don't care that these people are homeless or we don't care that these people can't pay their bills or we don't care. And it's sort of like, at some point you have to care because when the civil war or the revolution happens, as history proves, that's not a good thing. So, and that's, and I think it's going to be interesting. We, we joked around Lost Dollar Business Club, the very first show we did in 2024, we said 2024, the year we lose democracy. And I still yeah. say that 2024, Globally is the year we lose democracy, probably peace. And I think the chaos is about to begin. And whether it happens tomorrow or it happens at the end of the year, I think chaos is going to start coming sooner than we think. It's going to be very interesting to see what the world looks like in five years. So unless AI but, uh, but, and um, what you but, call uh, can help us, we're screwed. There is a plus side if you need yes, comfort. The inflatable doll. Yes, we have the doll. Oh, so you can get the legless sex doll. doll. Yes, it's easier it's to, hide. to look after you guys. So oh um, it's not all, all wonder, not all doom and gloom. You know the good thing is with her, you can put her in one of those carpool lanes where it's two people, and you just stick her in a seat with like a shirt on, and then they'll just think you have yeah. a hot brunette or blonde or whatever color you're going to make her when you're driving. Yeah, there you I go. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, guys, it's been and and Miss <laughs> Babe, I guess Elisa Babe, thank you so much for joining us. Um, yes, thank you, my dear. You you listen, you made the show. Um, so, but thank you guys. As always, it's a pleasure. Morton, good luck with your show. Next week, we're going to have Scott from the Scotch Whiskey Malt Society on. He's going to talk about <sighs> scotch and whiskeys, what we drink, which will be fun. Morton will show pictures of his artwork. So it'll be kind of a nice tie-in, hopefully. And we'll talk a little politics as we usually do, because God knows what's going to happen between now and next Saturday morning. And uh, subscribe and like. Morton, what do you want to say? I, I, I have one in, in the sure. end, you know, you, you ain't uh, leaving this um, this joint before you sing the blues, you know. Uh, Pat yeah. Dri Dribble Ardo, what what is that? Oh yes, David. What is your what is your anagram name? It's an anagram of my name. It is. And on that burning question, David, time uh -huh. to go. Or as he says, you can spell Constance the Noble IT. See you guys all next Saturday. Have a great week. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Bye -bye. Oh, wait.